Gowan. Sir. Execute to follow ship's form column in order of sequence numbers. Take half standard distance. Guides course 180. Speed 12. Roger, sir. Execute to follow formation 1. Tack Tango Alpha 1 2. Tack 1. Tack 1 Answer. Tack Golf Corbin 180. Tack Speed 1 2. Now, so are you happy about the next manoeuvre? The ship's forming column in order of sequence numbers, half standard distance. You maintain your pleasant course and speed. Uh, quite happy to execute. Walla Walla, sir. this is uh, Taipan. Uh, stand by. Uh, execute. My name is David Whitehead. I'm the commander of the 6th Patrol Craft Squadron, nicknamed the Dragon Squadron, based out here in Hong Kong. We form part of the British force which supports the Hong Kong government. And obviously, to do this, we have a number of different roles. Now, what do we do? Well, basically, our main job is to assist the Royal Hong Kong Police to keep law and order in local waters, which incidentally cover more than half the total area of the colony. At the same time, since this densely populated place is on the edge of the tropics and is often struck by typhoons, we provide an ever-ready force which can bring immediate help in the event of this or indeed any other sort of disaster or accident. Another important part of our work is to help in making life easier for the people who live in the 236 islands of the colony. We build things like playgrounds and football pitches and work on projects to improve existing facilities, particularly in the more remote areas. Naturally, we also get involved in the day-to-day -day life of the community and this brings us all sorts of smaller tasks from providing escorts for VIPs to starting sailing and dragon boat races. Of course, while we're doing all this, we take every opportunity to maintain our fighting efficiency as units of the fleet. And to help us, we have a larger, more sophisticated ship, such as the guided missile destroyer Devonshire, which is here at the moment as guard ship. Captain, there's a jungle fire about half a mile on the starboard bow, sir. How bad is it? Very bad, sir. Right, go to action stations. I'll be up straight away. Aye, aye, sir. Take that thing on immediate and transmit. Right, Mr. Southcott. You can see what's happened. Call away the salvage boarding party. Go and pick up the survivors. Aye, aye, sir. Off you go. Away Port Gemini. Salvage boarding party must be in the port way. After which driver close up. Relay. Immediate. Time uh, 172318 uh, Zulu. From uh, HMS Beachampton to uh, come Hong Kong uh, break. Unclassified. Explosion and fire in junk position uh, seven uh, cables north of uh, Fat Tao Chow Island uh, stop. Serious casualties uh, probable stop. Request immediate helo assistance for casualty evacuation.
Tomorrow we shall carry out a navigational exercise round Khao Sai Chow, passing from east to west. The ships will be in the order Yanton and Beachhampton, at half standard distance, and the speed will be between 10 and 12 knots as required for navigation. I remind you that although the water appears wide, the deep channel is narrow and precise navigation is required. We will sail from Victoria Basin at 9 o'clock and arrive at the start point at 10.30. We're just about to enter the Narrows. Check ship's head by gyro. Ship's head, sir. Ship's head by gyro. 217, 217 and a half, 218, 218 and a half. Correct. The gyro is correct, sir. I'd like to alter course to starboard. 010, speed 10. It is safe to do it, over. Right. Half ahead, both engines. Come right, 010. Aye. Half ahead, both engines. Half ahead, both engines. Starboard 10. 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 Starboard Depth, five fathoms. Very good. As the navigating officer of Yarnton, it is my job to advise the captain on all aspects of navigation around the coast of Hong Kong and on longer passages at sea. The problems of navigating a small ship like this are just the same as navigating a frigate or an even larger ship such as an aircraft carrier. From time to time, in order to keep our hand in, we do difficult navigational exercises in the narrow passages between the small islands that go to make up the colony. These require a lot of planning beforehand and precise navigation at the time. In order to find out the position of the ship at any one moment, I take bearings of prominent features ashore and draw them on the chart. Where the lines meet is the exact position of the ship. In this particular case, I'm taking a bearing of a church of a peninsula and of a beacon. I see the red and white beacon now, sir. I'd like to wheel over to 164. Very good. Come left, 164. Speed 10 knots. Port 10. Port 10. Turn four wheel on, sir. Revolutions 225. Revolutions 225. Midships, we're the midships. Starboard 10. Starboard 10. Ten of starboard on, sir. Steer 164. mate of the Yarnton for 10 months and as such I'm involved in practically everything the ship does. One of our jobs is to help the people who live in the outlying islands of the colony. The Chinese are great basketball players and the people of Chung Chow asked us to build them a pitch. When possible the Wrens came with us on this project. It makes a day out for them and they're always a great help in amusing the children. The first part of the job was to get the goalposts over to the island. For this, we used a helicopter to bring them to the site and lower them into position. Two of the squadron ships were involved in the project and having fixed the posts on our next visit, we cleared the undergrowth and started to level the ground. As soon as the ground was in a reasonable state, the villagers of Chung Chow invited us to celebrate by playing the first match on their new pitch.
action stations. Hands to action stations. Hands to action stations. All midshipmen spend a year at sea as part of their training. I'm spending the first six months of mine in Wasperton. We get around the Far East quite a lot in these ships. For instance, so far, I've been to Singapore and Borneo, and next month we're off to Japan. To me, the great thing about these very small ships is the amount of responsibility you're given as a junior officer. All the midshipmen have a number of different jobs. My most important is as ship's gunnery officer. This means I'm in charge of the two quick-firing guns, which make up our main armament. Of course, this includes training up the gun's crews and also landing and boarding parties. A gun closed up, cleared away, board clear. Bridge, roger. A gun closed up, cleared away, board clear. Bridge, roger. Load the racks. A gun rack loose. Gun racks loaded. Bridge, roger. A and X gun, load. A gun loaded. X gun, load. Bridge, roger. Policy, bombardment. Target bears, green 110. Range 17. Thank you. 